Well, the pandemic, of course, we know has disrupted so many industries and businesses across the country, but one group of people adapted and they had to continue keeping their doors open to protect our youth. KCAU 9 News reporter Marina Bach sharing how Iowa Department of Human Services and a child advocacy center here in Sioux City have continued to serve through the pandemic. And then I kind of explained the rules about our room that it's really important to tell the truth when we're talking today. Mercy One Child Advocacy Center sees around 700 children a year across 30 counties in Iowa. And 2020 was no exception. The abuse didn't stop in our area. We just had to figure out, like many people did, how to adapt and change to make sure we were seeing families in a safe way, but continuing to do the work that needed to be done. Mercy One says it's been a team effort between the Iowa Department of Human Services and local Local law enforcement meeting on a on a monthly basis with them as far as um, putting all of our cases together and that's a regional effort with DHS and uh, uh, other agencies as well we all get together and, and go over cases and we, we still continue to do that we just do it virtually now we always showed up for work we have done this work day in and day out since the beginning of last March when that pandemic hit nothing was too different from us a lot more work harder work but we kept on doing the work. The Sioux City Police Department says the number of reported child abuse cases has remained steady throughout the pandemic. Between uh, 2018, um, we, we had, uh, I believe, 38 cases that were reported, uh, 42 in 2019, and 2020 we had 43. So there's really uh, very little change there. Looking ahead to the new year, these organizations predict their services will continue to be needed now more than ever before. A lot of our parents are in mental health services, substance abuse treatment, um, types of services that have been really disrupted and impacted by COVID. So we are prepared and equipped to respond to that need as it becomes more clear and obvious to us. Marina Bach, KCAU 9 News.